residents of Maruka Region 1 in a matter of weeks will benefit from a modern bridge valued $110 million. Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson and a team inspected the works done thus far and expressed satisfaction with the progress. The $110 million Maruka Bridge will bring relief to the over 10,000 residents within the Region 1 sub-district who endured hardship with the old wooden structure. We had like three wooden bridges before this bridge. But of course, you know, it went bad by this wood. So this concrete bridge here for us is a plus. I think it's a very nice bridge that is put down there, and I think that would last for a very long time, and it would benefit we. I'm happy to know, you know that we got a nice bridge, that everybody could get a walk, we could get, get something to live in, to be cool, put in a taxi and take it across. So I'm happy to know that. Minister of Public Infrastructure David Patterson today visited and inspected the works done on the bridge. He committed to ensuring that works are done on the approaches on both sides of the bridge. But I'm quite pleased um, in the end to be able to do this for the community. Um, it's an all-weather bridge. Um, it has safety features. We, we're going to be putting on some lights on it, some solar lights. We're going to um, put on some navigation aids and those things like that. So therefore, at the end, within uh, three weeks, that, that, that's the time that we have, in another three weeks, when we're going to open it, it will be a perfect um, example of what you should do for um, bridges in this in this communities. The bridges phase one, um, I've, I've, we have committed that we would go um, the approaches and the roads in the area. We've committed to do that. So obviously, um, we're going to do a bit more work in phase one to complete phase one, which is the approaches, a concrete slab at about 30 feet each side. And then obviously, we're going to do the roads, both connecting roads to both sides of the bridge. Um, that's phase two, and then obviously phase three would be continuing the road road network in the, in the whole San Jose region. From the Maruka sub-district in Region 1 with videographer Chrissy Wishart, I am Seneca Thorne for Info Hub.